It's a little bit scary, guys. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm gonna go to my safety zone. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome to our channel, Faris Curious Lab. Today, Faris is coming from space to show us how to launch rocket into space. Say hello, Faris. Hello. How are you? Good. But we're not gonna launch it to space. We're gonna Where? launch it to the ceiling. To the ceiling? Yeah. Come on, let's start. Say hello to my new friend. He came from space with me. Say hello. Now, uh, today's experiment is gonna be like that about rockets? Yeah. What we're gonna talk about? Today, guys, we're gonna talk about how a rocket works. Ah, how do rocket works? Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, what what you're gonna tell us? Tell me. Can you do me a favor and jump? Jump? <laughs> I have to jump? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna jump here. Mm -hmm. One second. Now I have to jump. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like this? Mm -hmm. Is it was good? Mm -hmm. Okay. So what's what's uh, the relation between jumping and rockets? When you want to jump, you push down and then you jump up. That's the same concept with these rockets. Yeah, that's what I did. You're right. Okay. The most important things about how the rocket flies is fluid is law of motion. Each action has a equal and opposite reaction. Ah, okay, this is, I, I think this is uh, Newton's third law of motion, right? Yeah. yeah. Ah, so for every action has a equal and, equal opposite. and opposite reaction, right? Yeah. And the most important rule to launch a rocket what is, is the fuel, her? also called as propellant. What it's called? Propellant. Uh, propellant is uh, rocket's fuel? Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. And what we did to the rockets is... Can you give me the water, please? Okay, I will give you the water. How much water do we have to put inside the rocket? We, how much fuel we need to put is how big or small uh, the rocket is. Ah, uh, okay. So it depends on the size of the rocket, right? Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. You only have those tiny little rockets? No. What do you it's have? It's my own to present my humongous rocket. Humongous rocket? Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is a real rocket? Yeah. I ah, need okay. a chip scan. Chip scan? Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, can you just show me those medical like for those medical tablets? Yeah. Can you just show me? Ah, okay. So those tablets. Ah, okay. Got it. So those tablets. Yeah. You put them in water. Yeah. To release CO2. Yeah. Ah, okay. Rockets carry tons and tons of propellant, and that propellant gives enough energy for the rocket to boost away from Earth. Ah, okay. So the action force actually just come from the exhaust that yeah. pushes out of the rocket's engine, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, okay, this is the action force. And what is the response about the In rocket? The response, the rocket begins moving the opposite direction, lifting it off the ground. Ah, uh, so this is the action force and this is the reaction force. Yeah. Like this? Yes. Yeah. Ah, okay. We're gonna create action by adding seven pieces of Mentos to Coke, and you can see the reaction. Oh, it exploded! Uh, okay, now I'm gonna ask Faris a question that comes to my mind. Okay, he's gonna know or not. I'm gonna ask you, sorry, I'm gonna ask you a question about the how rockets can avoid Earth's gravity? Actually, good question. And 
when the rocket launches off, yeah, it it makes an upward force called thrust, and that thrust. Thrust? Yeah. Ah, okay. And I also have a question for you. How much thrust do we need to lift the rocket off and avoid the Earth's gravity and go? How much thrust do we need? Yeah. Mm. But I, I don't know. So uh, we need uh, a million. <laughs> I don't know. How much do we need? Just, you, you have to tell me. I know, I know, but I don't want to tell you. No. Seven point two million pounds of dust. Oh my God! <laughs> Seven point two million pounds of thrust. That's a oh lot. Oh my of thrust. God! That's a lot of, of thrust. I know, to avoid the Earth's gravity. And also, what about the speed? You tell us about the thrust, and what about the speed? At, to escape the Earth's gravity in a rocket, you need at least 17,800 miles per hour to escape the Earth's gravitational force. Ah, okay, okay, okay. In a so, curved path around the Earth. Ah, so rocket doesn't go just like this? No. Ah, okay, it well, should have a, a, when, a curved path. When it path. launches, you just see it going like this, but when you don't see it, it goes around here. Ah, okay, and then just, it's, it's gonna go out to space, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, wow, that was a good information to know. Yeah. And now what we're gonna do? We're gonna launch all the rockets. All the rockets now? How much water we should put in this uh, Mr. Like, Big rocket? Four cups of the tiny ones. One, two. Each one of us? Yeah. Two, three, four. I put four. Okay. This is my fourth one. Ah, uh, okay. So now this one. And for the small rocket, for your little tiny rockets. <laughs> they're, they're basically the kids of the big rocket. Hmm. <laughs> this one. I'm gonna send mine to space. Now we're gonna launch these two rockets. Oh my god, we have to take our safety zone. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's a little bit scary, guys. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm gonna go to my safety zone. Uh. <laughs> what is that? When is Mama's gonna shoot us? <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I'm so happy I'm alive! Thank God! Those were just tiny rockets. Yeah, but the, they just pop so high! <laughs> Welcome to Father's Escape Lab!